A place which left a mark in my heart. Could you imagine that somewhere deep in the jungle you might find a little heaven? Yes, right, that's Fonna, a paradise for the ones who loves nature. Mountains, hiking trails, largest caves in the world, friendly people and the list just keeps going on. I spent just a day in Fonna, but even day is enough to fall in love with what Fonna can offer you. Good morning! We are right now in Pontna and guys, I woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning to come in the middle of nowhere just to do some droning. Here is my drone. This is one of the main reasons why you need to wake up early, like 5 before sunrise and then you need to drive to the spot so you can spot the sunrise, you can shoot the sunrise and you can get some amazing footage. Imagine living in such place. It's not just a couple of mountains and good views. A part of that, that's a very historical place as well. This looks like a normal road, isn't it? But actually, that's not a road. It used to be an airport. When American Navy and soldiers understood that the uh, north part of Vietnam built a trail to support south part of Vietnam, they started to like attack them. And that's why north part of Vietnam created a strategical move, which is this place, airport, in the middle of the trail. The name of the airport is Khe Gat Plains. Yeah. Now this road is used for the truck. On 18 of April 1972, north part of Vietnam bring two planes MiG-17 to this airport, which they built in the middle of the trail. And on 19, the next day, they attack Navy Marine ships vessels of America, which actually changed the way and conclusion of war. There is no signs or anything on the road, so you can just pass it and you don't even realize that this used to be as uh, airport. Fongna area I actually have one more thing to offer and that thing is caves. This is the biggest cave in the world. To enter that cave you need to pre-book your trip at least one year before. The cost is like $3,000. 1,000 tourists can visit that cave during one year. Every single cow there, there, here is stitched to that little stick. So, and it just stays. Just arrived back to my villa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Finally, I can say villa. Um, that's how it looks from outside. We have amazing swimming pool. I might have a swim today. Let me show you the room itself. So, what you can actually get for 11 USD. Uh, with the breakfast included. Let me show you around. I'm in the middle, like a 9k left until paradise case. There's a few guys, I passed them before since I stopped here to record the video, they passed me. They probably go also to paradise case. Just want to say that maybe the way back will be different route, because this route is kind of bumpy. You go up and down and it's made from concrete. Huge parking, probably before COVID. It was packed with tourists. Bike, you need to pay 5,000 dong. And the entrance fee is 250,000 dong. They gave me this kind of card. Plastic one. So I guess you need to scan it somewhere. Progressive. How, long oh, how much is the buggy? If you take buggy. Uh, 100. 100, yeah? yeah okay. okay, yeah. Thank you. For the lazy people and for unwell old people, you can take a buggy up, which is like 600 meters up. It will cost you 100,000. 
one interesting thing about Vietnam overall. So many butterflies. Any place I go has a loop in the mountains, down the bottom, doesn't matter. It's like full of different sort of butterflies. White, yellow, black, pink, magenta. That's cool because you go around, the butterflies flying all around you. Very cool. Buggy actually drives you just to entrance way you still need to hike up so there is literally no point to take buggy that's a nice place to sit and chill with the entrance so this way is towards temple yeah. and the main cave is there it's very cold out here that's for sure from the cave like it's so fresh let's go inside Woo. <laughs> we're going down right now but this cave is huge Look at it, how big is it? Insane! And the texture of stalactites and I guess that's a stalactites. It's like you are somewhere on another planet and that's a creature of like aliens. Now now it feels big because we are almost in the bottom see how huge it is we came from down there and i thought that's a finish but no there is more, more and more caves in this area are literally hundreds of millions years old you understand that you walk into a masterpiece of nature itself not a single human can build such this looks like you're on another planet there is so much to think about when you look at the stalactites it's incredible that one looks like a skull that stalactite and these little parts they look like a teeth like the one on my back down there looks like Tutankhamon or some sort of Egypt things. I no need to try to stay away from the crowd, it's super noisy. Super noisy with them. And then it's completely destroying the vibe, honestly. Like, you should keep yourself quiet when you are in such places, but they just like screaming, noising, blah blah blah. Guys, oh my god, this literally looks like a heart and there is a logic behind that, like a heart of cave. Look at this. This one literally looks like a heart in the middle of the cave. Worth it, 100%. If you've been in Vietnam, go to Phuong Nha and visit the caves. It's a long ass cave. I mean, I'm still walking and I don't see the end. Maybe I'll need to Google how long this cave is. I couldn't make it to the end because it's a 31 kilometer cave and only one kilometer is accessible for the visitors. Very cool. Very cool. That's like a tower building, tower bridge. Oh, not a tower bridge, but that's like a tower building. Look at this. Look. Insane. Stay in Pongna is about to finish. It was amazing. The views are incredible. But yeah, so tomorrow is a big day. Tomorrow I need to head towards Lao Bao. And so I embarked on my journey towards the border in between Vietnam and Laos. Lao Bao. Yeah, I just need to go all the way like that. I guess it will be a tough road. We got a couple of good things and a couple of bad things about the road. Good thing, this road is completely empty. I haven't seen nobody, no cars, no bikes. That's a good thing. Bad thing, there's no signal here. My map doesn't work. I have a map me. I will use it if I will feel unsafe or something. 
Hey, we get the first car. You ready? That's the first one. That's the first truck <laughs> which passed me today. The first one. It's not so dusty here actually because no trucks are passing, no cars. So I'm the only one. I see pretty interesting pattern. Have a lot of like tiny little villages, like just few houses. The houses are built completely different from what I have seen before. We call it in Russian language Izbushko na kurich noshkach. So that's completely wooden house from wooden plates. But most important thing is that it's not on the ground. So it actually is above the ground, like a couple meters above. And I'm not sure of the reason, but might be a couple of points. So let's say snakes or insects flooding during rainy season or both. No, no run. Come. 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 <laughs> hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Making friends. Five. But they come and call her as soon. <laughs> Honestly, interacting with locals is something that you can't describe. Personally, I just feel grateful for such experience. just about driving sometimes when you reach point you feel you need to stop you just stop you enjoy the view over the valley you take a deep breath you give your bike a little rest and you keep going you keep going that's adventure <laughs> Guys, I'm putting a lot of effort to film this, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment down below. It's just a couple of seconds for you, but it will mean a world to me. Thank you.